Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will be seeing the recording of my online training on the topic FI document structure. I will display a document in SAP. T code is FP03. Okay. So a document is recognized by the company code and the fiscal year. Now, if you don't remember the document number, go to this document list. And these are the criteria which you can use to look for a document. You can enter a company. We know, right? A leading ledger is there, non leading ledger is there, concept of ledger group, you know. So, specific to a ledger, if you have done posting, then you have to look in that ledger only. It will not, it will not reflect in another ledger. Suppose I did a posting to ledger A, B. We have got ledger A. Then you have to mention that here. I have posted in A, B ledger, but I come to this F, B, 0, 3, and I'm trying to look in 0, L. It will not be there. So first of all, you, you understand which are the criteria uh, to be taken care for a document. How a document is identified in SAP. In SAP FI, a document number is stored per company code and for a particular fiscal year. Then again, it is stored in the ledger in which it is posted. You can't look for that document in another ledger. That is the reason we have this concept of ledgers because we want certain postings to hit certain ledger. If you don't have uh, any ledgers, any non-leading ledgers, and you are working only with 0L, that is a leading ledger, then all the postings will be sitting in 0L. And if you have, you are having non-leading ledgers, but while doing a posting, you didn't specify a particular ledger, then also it will be sitting in 0L. So these are the things you should remember. Now next, see very important thing is document type. Now this document type has got certain control parameters for a document. In fact, the document is generated because of the document type. In SAP, we have got so many transactions, right? First of all, why this document type? Uh, you will have a question. Uh, everything is a document. Whatever transactions you post is a document. You can serially number one, two, three, four, five and go on. But logically, you have to separate your transaction because not all transactions are same. Even uh, previously also I told in our conventional ac accounting, that is conventional accounting I'm talking about 40, 50 years back when it was a file system, external file system, right? You were having uh, uh, files where you will uh, keep your documents. And that document also was numbered. Say, uh, this is the fiscal year 2019 to 2020. Outside the file, it will be written 2019 to 2020. And documents, whichever uh, you have paid or whichever you have received, it will be serially numbered and uh, put a stamp there, rubber stamp there as paid, paid and canceled like that, it will be uh, a stamp would be put on that. So uh, again, the files, even in conventional uh, accounting, the files, uh, there, there were multiple files, not all the transactions will be put in one file. Any business will have uh, more than one business transactions, right? See, for example, uh, first of all, in a business uh, setup, you make payments then you receive payments here you are seeing two types of transactions one is the payment one is the receipt so minimum you must have two files same concept is taken care by document type document type separates the business transactions and stores those business transaction logically inside sap tables it will not put all the documents in one, one bucket. It will have separate boxes. All the business transactions are separated and document numbers also will be separated and it will be unique to that particular transaction. For example, you are buying assets. You will have a separate document type for that. So whichever, whenever you are buying assets, the documents posted to uh, as a proof of that transaction 
will get a unique number which is meant for asset purchase then you are purchasing materials when you are purchasing material documents are posted and that will have a different range of document numbers to uniquely identify that these are documents for uh, buying materials then you are having your normal expense posting say for example for some stationery you bought some cash journal account you are dealing then you are having your uh, assets i told you materials i told you you are uh, receiving payment from your customer this is a different document type you are uh, making payment to your vendor you need a uh, separate document type these are logically separating the transactions and controlling the numbers first important control of the document type is the number now again i will display to you let's enter 1 to n 1 to n or 1 to z company code and the document number we don't know fiscal year any fiscal year is okay from 0l then it will ask us to enter at least one uh, one more selection criteria so that it can uh, uh, take lesser time to pick the documents so let me put sa i will tell you what sa is so i am still on the ec access i uh, my intention here to be here is to explain how a document looks like let's pick this document so in this document the upper side is called the header you want to see more details of the header this is the icon display document header so this will show you among other things it will show you document type this is very important from your interview point of view they will ask you can you just tell me how uh, how an fi document looks like so you should say a fi document consists of document header and line items and they will ask you next what all comes under document header and what all comes under the line items so first thing in the document header very important key is of course the document type because the document type only generated the document number also so this document number here it is 1 lakh right this document number it has come from this document type sa and there is some document header text okay and it has got the currency it has got the company code details it has got the t code the transaction code which was used to uh, create post this document the en entry date entry date is there uh because entry date uh, can be different from your posting date or your document date here the in test system all of okay as of now you remember this much so uh the document this is the document header you click on this header icon more information is seen here here minimum information is seen you want to see more information you can click on the header icon which i showed to you these are the line items in line item see what all you are seeing line item is having line item number it is having this key what is this key it's posting key this one is posting key and these are gl accounts okay see this posting key is 50 this posting key is 40 when this is 50 see here a minus sign minus in sat means it's credit credit is income unlike uh, what we uh, we have studied in school minus is uh, reducing the balance here in sap minus means it's credit okay and uh, he, when when there is no sign it means positive sign when there is no minus it means positive and positive sign in sap means it's an expense or it's a debit okay let's go back and pick some other document so this is fb 50 let's see this fb 01 here the it is same document type is sa only but here the document number is 1 because you are in a different fiscal year so this document number 1 is unique to company code 1020 and fiscal year 2019 this one so uniquely a document is identified by the company code and fiscal year this we understood this line item also i showed you see where there is 40 it's plus where there is 50 it's minus 
So what is this 40 and 50? These are posting key. What they control? Just like your document type controls your header information. This is very important. First of all, you know document is has having header. It is having line items, right? Next is you should know the document is header is controlled by the document type. It is controlled by the document type. And the line item is controlled by posting key. To keep the length of the video short and sweet, I have split the online uh, recording into multiple parts. Let's see the continuation in the next part. So coming up next in our channel would be document type in S4 HANA Finance 1809 and 1909. Stay tuned in. If you have any questions on this video, you could comment it below. For those who are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel where I post such educative videos in SAP. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And for those who have already subscribed, thanks a lot and thanks for watching.